and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel happy new year happy 2020 i was looking back on 2019 and some of my videos that you guys seem to really like and my tights styling video seemed to go down a treat with you guys so i thought why not a year later try and do another little tight stall tight stalling tights styling video i actually had no more tights left after the house fire and I needed some more. The only pair of tights I had was one pair of fishnet tights because I bought those within the first week of the house fire, which is really random, but I wear fishnet tights quite a lot. So I thought I would show you five different pairs of tights and five ways to wear the tights. I think in my previous video, I might've had some colored tights, but I just feel like I just don't really wear colored tights very often. If you guys would like more colored tights and more different kind of tights like that, let me know. But in this video, I stuck to ones I think were kind of more easy to style. They're still fun, they're still different but they're ones I actually can see myself wearing, can see myself styling, and can imagine myself wearing out and about in public. Without much further ado, let's get into it. So first up, seeing as I was telling you the first pair of tights I bought was a pair of fishnet tights. Let's start with the fishnet tights. These ones I got from TK Maxx, just because they looked pretty good. And I feel like TK Maxx, if you wanna find some tights, TK Maxx does some really affordable pairs of tights from really good brands like Pretty Polly, House of Holland, and I, don't, I think these were just a random brand. Oh, were these from ASOS? I think these were from, these were from TK Maxx. But you can get these from ASOS too, because I remember my last pair I got from this place called like Gypsy Tights. Anyway, these are good. They don't break that easily. And the, I don't like the fishnet to be too massive. So this is quite a small fishnet. I also think fishnet can either look really non-classy or you can make it look kind of fun and sexy. So... I think the best way of doing that is with some over knee boots. I don't want to let too much fishnet out. Classic outfit that I wear quite a lot actually at the moment is my faux leather skirt, which is from Zara with my Zara turtleneck. It's just nice and tight. It's just nice and figure hugging. And then you get a little bit of a texture from the skirt and then another bit of texture from your fishnet tights. There's just like a pop of tights coming out from your leg to your over knee boots. So it's not too much going on and I just think that's a little hint of sexy amongst an outfit that otherwise is just warm and comfortable. That is actually an outfit that I wear quite a lot and I really enjoy it. Next up, jumping to something very, very different. I actually did a Shein haul recently and I found this amazing dress which I felt gave me very Kendall Jenner vibes. I'll give you the picture of what I was looking for and I found this dupe on Shein. I tried it on on my last Shein haul and try on. I just thought that would look so nice with some tights. So I did my hair up like this, which I really like, like a little bit of a bun, messy bun going on with the nice dress just so that it kind of clears the shoulders. Nice like high section up here and just shows off your collarbones and your shoulders. And I think it's really, really flattering. And I just paired that for a little bit of an extra fun pop with these tights. These ones are actually a little bit big for me. As you can kind of see, they're kind of more structured. I went for a large because I'm quite tall, but I probably should have gone to a medium because these are kind of, they're more like legging-ish, like they're actually structured. So I probably should have gone for a medium and I was expecting them to be put like proper normal tights. Really, really like polka dot tights. I feel like these are really easy. They add a bit of fun to any outfit. So you could wear the most boring normal outfit and then just pop these on, or you can go like full fun with the fluffy dress and add these in. This is a really good way of looking like fun and giving a bit of skin, but without too much skin, especially in the winter because usually we've got pale legs and we don't need those display and because that dress was quite short i just thought it would look really nice with this pair of tights so yeah playful evening way of wearing some tights another very classic kind of pair of tights for me are these diamondy tights i actually find tights that aren't that i can't remember the right word they are like less opaque like they're more see-through so i find them actually quite flattering they kind of give your legs some dimension so the way they're stretched over the front of your leg it's lighter and then around the sides of your legs it's darker which gives the illusion that your legs are slimmer and longer don't know if that's like a fact, but I actually find that to be the case. So when they're a little bit more see-through, a little bit less opaque, they're quite a lot more flattering. And that way I think you can get away with doing some fun patterns. So yeah, I really like these kind of shapes on here and they also really elongate your legs as well. So I really like these ones. I paired these with an outfit that is something that I found myself wearing quite a lot and something that I would definitely wear some pattern tights just to jazz it up a little bit. So I put my uh, faux leather shorts from Pretty Little Thing, which are kind of brown colored a new top from Mango, and again, my over knee boots. My over knee boots are from Fairfax and Favour, and they kind of gifted me those at the end of last year. So I'll leave those in the description box because I got loads of questions about them last time, and they are so comfy, so flattering, and they come above the knee. So love, love those. I did an unboxing video, which I will leave in the description box if you want to go and watch that one. I feel like that outfit altogether is quite nice, quite like muted tones, and then a little bit of fun from the tights. 
Okay, next up, these tights, I have no idea what you would call this. Uh, what do you call this? It kind of reminds me of houndstooth, but I know that it's not. I feel like these are more worky tights. I would definitely wear these if I were going to work with like a midi skirt or a peplum skirt or something like that, which is why. In this video, I paired it with my very mini blazer dress, which I probably wouldn't be wearing to work, but I do feel like these tights are really good for work. They kind of remind me of, they're more trousery, but they've just got the fun pattern going on. So it's like a really nice way to add in some fun into your work outfits. Um, so you could definitely do some of these for well, probably a longer skirt or a longer blazer dress. But I wanted to show you how I could style it. I don't actually have any other blazer dresses. So that is my new one from again, my Shein haul that I just posted the other day. And I think it just adds nicely to something more structured and a little bit more worky. You know? This pair again is from Calzedonia. Uh, I think this is in a medium and these fitted me really nicely. So love these. The final pair of tights are a little bit of a wild one. I got these and these were from Calzedonia. I was just looking through the website and I was like, hmm, what else do I want to try? And they had little Donald Duck on them. Let me see if I can show you that way around. Look, it's little Donald Duck, is it? Donald and what's her name? Daphne. I have Donald Duck on my key ring, so I thought why not get Donald Duck on my tights? So I just thought this was really cute. I'm not quite sure how I'd like to pair this. I think I'd go like full on, like cutesy, Japanesey vibes, like little cute bow college dress situation. But at the moment my wardrobe is lacking a little bit in that kind of stuff. So I actually paired this with just some other like little cute bits that I've got. I've just got this cute knitwear from Shein with some little like stick on patches. And then my new Shein double pom pom hat, which I think is Thing ever. So if you're looking for some cute vibes, you can add cute in your hat, you can add cute in your tights. Don't limit yourself to where you can get your cute vibes from. But yeah, I thought these were really fun and I will definitely be wearing these. And I'll, I'll, be, I'll be thinking of new ways to wear these. I think I'd like to wear these with like a, I used to have this pink Adidas little cute dress, like t-shirt dress that I loved. And this would look so cute with that. But alas, I don't have it anymore. So I have to find something new. That is all of my ways of styling my five pairs of tights. I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see. If you'd like to see any more styling, any more different tight styling videos. I'm all ears. I'm all eyes, because I'll be reading the comments. But yeah, I will see you guys in 